Good morning. Today is Friday, December 1st, 2023. It doesn't have to be this way. The anxiety, the depression, that empty feeling inside of you, that void, like something is missing. It doesn't have to be that way. You see, all people have sinned. And all people have fallen short of the glory of God. That is where that empty feeling is coming from. We are in a world in which we are held captive. We are prisoners of our own sin, prisoners of our own deceitful mind, our own deceitful heart. And the prison guards are spirits of wickedness, enemies of your very soul. These enemies of your very soul do not want you to know that you are a prisoner. So sometimes they make the prison cell seem very lovely and pleasant and fun. But you know deep down something just isn't right. You're just not happy. You're just not satisfied. But the good news is, in fact, the great news, in fact, the best news ever <laughs> is that although all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, the gift of God, the free gift of God is life in Jesus you see, Jesus came and stood in for our sin because the punishment of sin is death. Death being not only your physical body dying, but separation from God for all eternity. The, the one who created you. Separation from him forever. In total darkness both literally and figuratively. But Jesus came and stood in for that. He died that we may have life and be restored into fellowship with our Creator. We have the enemies of our soul keeping guard over the prison but the very lover of our soul died for us and he rose again on the third day. He was born pure, born of a virgin, both man and God, the perfect sacrificial lamb who offered himself up freely. His life was not taken from him. He offered it freely so that you may live both here on earth and forever in fellowship with the very lover of your soul, the creator of your soul. Everyone or at least many people have heard John 3:16 for God so loved the world for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. He went to that cross and he rose again on the third day, so that you and I may be restored into fellowship 
with God the Father and himself and the Holy Spirit. When Peter preached a similar message 2,000 years ago, the people became troubled. They ached in their heart because they knew what he was saying was true. And so they asked him, what should we do? And Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. I mean, God's Holy Spirit comes to dwell within and with you. That's pretty amazing. This time of year, we, we want to talk about the magic of Christmas. Well, the fact that God came to earth in the form of a man so that he may live as man, understand man's trials and condition, and then die for us to give us life to restore us to himself, that's pretty magical. And in fact, <laughs> there's nothing that can compare to that. But I digress slightly. Jesus came to set the captives free. Simple enough. You're in prison? Figuratively, symbolically, perhaps literally. You're in prison. Jesus has flung those prison doors wide open. All you have to do is take his hand and step out of it. No. This does not mean that your life is going to be perfect. Because he warned us that we will have tribulation. We are still in enemy territory, but... He has overcome the world. It's a done deal. We're just waiting. He's waiting for everyone who will turn to him to turn to him. For everyone that will acknowledge their freedom from this prison of sin and death and anxiety and depression and disease and and total separation from God. He's just waiting for everyone that will accept that and realize that to realize it and to step out of that prison door. So, one day he will come back and say, enough's enough. You know, I've already won. It's time for you wicked spirits to get out of here. He already paid the price. He's already won the victory. And whoever trusts in him can claim that victory as well. Yes, there will be tribulation. But I can't even begin to tell you the peace that comes from knowing Him. Knowing that whatever happens, I belong to Him. And so can you. It's not that I'm anyone special. It's because He is good and great. And full of grace and mercy and loving kindness and patience and understanding. So if you have any questions, if you have a need, please private message me. Good morning, Mr. Castellani. I'm sorry if I put your, your name there. <clears throat> but please, 
today's the day of salvation. Don't, don't keep putting it off. Turn to Jesus. You can message me. I can try to point you in the right direction, which is Jesus. <laughs> Find a Bible-believing church. And they can help you. If you're in my area, Parksville Christian Church, we would love to have you. So, may the Lord bless you. If you do not know him, may he draw, him, draw you closer to himself.